Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beep, beep, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart stint? Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here. Go 
on. Get out of here. you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what well, do we have here? Well, 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 quite the pretty well, little lady. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. But there is no one. Cutie, where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? You must not have a lot of money to talk to us. Oh, Don't you want to 
save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! Yes. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! Oh. <laughs> my, my! Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling! I had no idea. <laughs> you now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. <laughs>
Think you can follow my lead? I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin!
expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. is one hot shit. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so, come on. Who are you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking.
found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps.
Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. All right guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Good to go. So let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. to be is today's and tomorrow's or the day afters if the dawn takes a shine to you pathetic huh hey which one of you said that was it you Ooh, you got a mouth on you i'm gonna enjoy breaking it in Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl! Huh? Still playing hard to get? I can dig it! Oh yeah! The leftovers are all yours! Yeah! yeah. We. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies! Y'all come with me! Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> Heh! What was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> 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 
So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys with the hands. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. I'll see you. you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. 
Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't... I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> Alright, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do! No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Tuesty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it.
тайна. Damn it, Reeks. 